So you're walking down the street and coming from the opposite way is a really attractive woman that you like. Now, you know that you should go over and give her a compliment and start a conversation, find out if she's single, get her phone number and hopefully take her out on a date. But like with most men or 99% of men, you are absolutely petrified of the idea of going over to talk to a stranger in a social environment. And believe it or not, this is the definition of a cold approach and usually why so many men also go to dating coaches to help them to overcome this anxiety and issue so it becomes a skill and when they are going out and about to work, to gym, shopping, to do their hobbies and so on, if they see someone that they like, they can go over and do all of those things and talk to them. But in this video, I'm gonna cover the three biggest fears that I think most men have, or at least the ones that I have seen over the years with working in the dating industry, and hopefully to give you this understanding that you are not alone with these fears, and that this is something that 99% of men easily have. So starting with the first one, the most typical one that everyone knows about is the fear of rejection. Everyone is scared of being turned down. No one really likes to take risks thinking that there isn't going to be a reward at the end of it. And so you find that guys, they'll see someone that they like and they don't want to do it because they think that either she's really intimidating or that she looks busy or that they're going to interrupt her day. And mostly they think that because they think, when they go over to stop her, to give her a compliment or say hello even, they think they are literally going to be turned down. So they will come up with all these limiting beliefs that essentially are preventing them from even taking that chance, taking that opportunity. And uh, they are more than happy to just kind of like rule themselves out and be like, no, I'm going to just interrupt her day. What, what's the point? I, I don't really want to get turned down with that. And that level of rejection is going to stop you from taking any chance. But you aren't alone. Everyone experiences that. And there is a way to overcome it too. And really, the only way to do it, and a lot of guys are not going to like hearing this, is to carry on practicing approaching and to desensitize yourself to that or most importantly, to actually challenge that limiting belief and find out if someone that you are attracted to, who you believe you're gonna be interrupting your day of or their day of, are you actually doing that? And th that example can obviously be applicable to what the rest of the fears will be here, but it is important to know that you have to challenge your limiting beliefs, especially if you believe that you're going to be rejected before you even go over. And I'd even probably take a step beyond that and say, well, what can you do about yourself that can help you to overwrite this particular thought process? So if it's not trying to desensitize yourself to the idea of approaching strangers or speaking to people, then you have to also look at maybe how you are dressed how you're groomed, what your overall attitude is to talking to strangers. And just by making those shifts, that can change your perception of even thinking about being rejected. I have known so many men, and hell, actually, a great example are dating coaches where they have completely overwritten the issue of being rejected and they kind of embrace it. They enjoy the idea of being turned down because it also then means for them that they're not wasting their time talking to someone who isn't interested in talking to them. So it's a slight shift in mentality there, but most men certainly will experience that fear of rejection. So what is the next one though? Well, on top of the idea of rejection, I think probably the second biggest fear that a lot of men have is the idea of public humiliation. No one wants to experience that 
social suicide of sorts where you know people see you being turned down they see you being rejected and then suddenly you are branded a loser publicly and people think oh god what what a weirdo you know he's just been turned down by by a woman and, and no guy wants to experience that and i think this is something that women probably don't understand because maybe they've not really experienced that kind of social suicide and especially attractive women who are not really going to have no said to them you know and I've known certainly friends over the years who are incredibly attractive and I've even done an experiment with them where I've said to them look go and talk to that stranger at the bar ask him to get you a drink and I bet you he'll do it and I'd probably go as far to say nine out of ten times we got free drinks during the night so you know so a lot of women i don't think will kind of understand the kind of public humiliation that men can have if they are putting themselves out there and they get turned down and they get turned down in a way that a lot of people see them and it's usually also one of the possible reasons why i think when guys do uh take the initiative and try and go and talk to someone that they are attracted to they try and do it in a way where there is possibly minimal uh, a minimal amount of people watching so you know if they go and do it in a bar it will probably be maybe right at the bar where they know if things go horribly wrong they can quickly kind of eject from the situation and then run back to their friends rather than perhaps doing the approach in front of their friends where their friends can see and if they get rejected then or or even well yeah if they get rejected then they're going to feel publicly humiliated in front of their friends let alone everyone else in that vicinity as well and unfortunately I think some people have friends who will kind of take the mick out of that or they'll certainly make an issue of it and yes they might be teasing it might be more of then like a lad evening out but unfortunately that kind of experience can also cause trauma for a guy and it can make them even more scared of the idea of going over and starting conversations with strangers because they just don't want to be deemed that guy who gets turned down by people and it's a lot easier just to avoid those circumstances talking to strangers rather than you know experiencing that fear or experiencing that anxiety so that is certainly one where traumas can develop and definitely with some clients that i have had in the past especially when i've done eye movement therapy with them they have actually experienced traumas maybe not so much because of the rejection but because how they wouldn't be made to feel by people observing the situation play out and how they were rejected from that situation and uh, and they've just sort of felt the judgment from people watching them so it's an interesting one to bear in mind that if you're not experiencing fear from rejection you might be experiencing fear from that humiliation that you might get from being turned down But the last one that maybe guys are thinking about or considering, maybe they're not, but certainly one that I have observed and seen with guys is that they are absolutely scared of what to say and they might even consider that the main issue which is what causes the rejection and what is what causes that public humiliation. You know, imagine you have seen someone that you're attracted to, you go over, you say hello, but your anxiety gets the better of you and you just start mumbling. Um, Or your brain kind of has a bit of a brain fart. Uh, You are absolutely stumped at what to say to her. And so you're just like, uh, uh yeah how's your day going how's your day going you know and you just ask really boring questions you've done the most ballsiest thing that someone could do and you've just completely fallen flat by being unsure what to say now okay this is where you know i can have my somewhat agreement with what the old school pickup industry used to teach which was to give guys lines and routines to say (coughs) excuse me and just having a crutch of an idea of things to talk about with women can at least get that ball rolling and 
get you used to being again in that environment and hopefully get some desensitization. Um, and hopefully, as long as guys aren't reliant on using some kind of like line or two constantly, then it is then great for them to be able to transition that into um, more authentic conversations or, or more authentic compliments or... Um, yeah, or conversations that they can talk about. I was thinking of another word there, which which I had and then just went, just completely gone. So those, I would say, are probably the biggest fears that men certainly have. And, you know, and if you've got any others, I would love to hear them in the, uh, the comments below. But absolutely, you know, I would say that these are the three kind of like umbrella issues that men will certainly have. And, you know, and even with that last one, if they can develop their conversation skills, then they'll, everything else kind of tends to fall into place. Like the limiting beliefs will certainly shift. They'll have more conviction and confidence within themselves. They will uh, have more morale uh, in their actions. You know, they'll believe that, you know, that they can do it, that taking action is a good idea and it's a good thing. They'll be desensitized to the idea of feeling rejected. And so even then, if they are embarrassed in public, uh, they won't feel judged for it. They'll accept or acknowledge like, oh, sh damn, that, that didn't go the way that I planned. But you know what? They will learn from it. They accept the responsibility of like, you know what though? I, I must not have been her type. And that is absolutely okay. There are plenty more fish in the sea for me to go and talk to. So just as a recap, you've got the fear of rejection. So being turned down, ignored, told to bugger off, you know, you name it. You've also got the fear of being publicly humiliated. The fact that other people might see you being turned down and that could be uh, a potential trauma uh, with um, even thinking about the idea of going and approaching again. And then you've got the last one, which is not knowing what to say, you know, going over there and just being a complete bumbling idiot and unfortunately just causing the rejection or causing the public humiliation because you've just not been able to have a conversation and that would have been mostly down to the fact that you're just probably not used to it and you know and with all of these things it this is why it's so good to go to a dating coach because they'll be able to help you to overcome these limiting beliefs and even if you end up going to a coach and they're not able to help you with this this is something that I can certainly help with my eye movement therapy service that I offer people as well as even the accountability side of being able to life coach you and encourage you to go out on a regular basis give you homework to do to make sure that you are incrementally uh, incorporating the skills that you've learned from a dating coach or that you're about to go and learn from a dating coach if you're even thinking of going to one and you want me to make sure that you are going to be implementing everything that they teach then this is where my coaching is going to be absolutely great for you so if that is as well something that you're interested in if you are remotely interested in my services I do offer a complimentary client assessment where I can kind of give you some advice I can give you some feedback and just a bit of a nudge in the right direction to make sure that you are going to the right coach or you're going to do the right kind of course that's going to help to bring the better version out of you as well as I can then also understand or acknowledge if you need certain work on traumas that I can also help with too. So hopefully you reach out. Otherwise, do please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, I would also love to hear any ideas or issues that you've got that you would love for me to make content of that I can certainly advise and hopefully send you on the right path uh, to working on your dating life or certainly to reach out to the right appropriate coaches too. So if you can like the video, subscribe, check out my website in the description below, leave a comment on what videos you'd like to see next as well as your thoughts on this video and any other fears that maybe you have too. But otherwise, I've been that dating anxiety guy and look forward to more content coming from me.